I'm going to share with you certain things that you can do to encourage the angels of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu to make wa'a for you. See, the Quran has told us that one of the many functions of the angels in the life of this world is to make dua for the people on earth. Allah said, The angels, they glorify the praise of their Lord. And they seek forgiveness for the ones on the land. One of the scholars, his name was Badruddin ibn Jama'a, a Shafi'i jurist. He said, people often search for the dua of a righteous individual or a person who we think is righteous. Then he said, what then do you make of a dua when it comes from the angels? And then the answer to this question was given by another scholar. His name is Ibn Battal, a Maliki jurist. He said, it is well known that the dua of the angels is always answered by Allah Jalla Jalla. I'm going to share with you therefore 10 different actions that can be used to unlock the dua of the sinless creation of Allah Jalla Jalla for you. The first, sleeping in a state of wudu. And that is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said to the companions, purify yourselves, purify your bodies, may Allah keep you pure. Because anybody who sleeps in a state of wudu will have an angel staying next to him all throughout the night. Every time you toss and turn, the angel says, oh Allah, forgive him because he slept in a state of wudu. Number two, to make dua for your brother, for your sister in their absence. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the dua which a person makes for his brother in his absence is always answered. The hadith says, there is an angel positioned right next to your head. Every time you make a dua of goodness for your brother or sister, the angel says, Ameen. And may Allah give you the same. Visiting those who are ill. Did you know that when you visit someone who is sick, you will not walk alone? The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever goes out in the evening to visit someone who is sick, 70,000 angels will accompany that person and they will be praying for his forgiveness continually until the morning and Allah will give this person a kharif in Jannah. What is a kharif? It's in reference to those fruits that have already been plucked. It's ready for you there in Jannah. Allahu Akbar. And then the hadith continues and if you visit this person in the morning, 70,000 angels will also accompany you asking Allah to forgive your sins all the way until the evening and you will be given a kharif in Jannah. 70,000. So you visit in the morning, let's call it 9 a.m. And they continue praying for you till the evening, the hadith says. Let's call it Asr, 3 p.m. Six continual hours of angelic dua saying, forgive their sins, erase their crimes, pardon their trespasses. Subhanallah. That's number three. A fourth action that brings about the dua of a bigger number of angels is sadaqah charity. And that is why the hadith says, every morning when people wake up, two angels descend from the heavens. What for? To make dua. One of them says, Oh Allah, I ask you please to give more to the one who gives. And the other one says, Oh Allah, I ask you to bring ruin to the one who withholds. Sadaqah. Count with me. We've covered four actions. We have six more to complete the ten. Fasting when other people are eating. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the one who is fasting will have the angels making dua for him or her when others are eating around them and they continue praying for this person till they reach their fill. Our messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, as Al-Bara ibn Az ibn Rait, our Prophet would straighten the rows before salah and he would pass by the companions and he would pass his hand over our chests and our shoulders ensuring that we are all standing in line. And he would say to us before salah, don't go out of line. Otherwise, your hearts will go out of line. And then he said, Allah and his angels do salah upon the people who pray in the first rows. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the angels continue to make dua for a person who stays put in his or her place of prayer so long as they don't lose their wudu. And the angels, they say, oh Allah, forgive them, oh Allah, have mercy upon them. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever does salah and salam upon me, the angels will pray upon that person. So long as he continues to do so for me, the angels will do so for him. So take as much or as little as that as you want, he said. In other words, it's a blank check that has already been signed. I and mean, you choose how much you want to get paid. You say 10 salah upon him, alayhi salatu wasalam, the angels make 10 dua for you. You do 100, they do the same, and so on and so forth. And in one of the most profound hadith that you will ever read in this department, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam said, Indeed Allah and his angels and the inhabitants of the skies, and those on the earth, even the ant within its hole, 
even the whale in the sea, they send blessings upon those who teach goodness to people. And the last I will mention to make peace with Allah Jalla Jalla. Allah said, الَّذِينَ يَحْمِلُونَ الْعَرْشَ وَمَنْ حَوْلَهُ Those angels who are carrying the throne of Allah and the angels around it. يُسَبِّحُونَ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّهِمْ They glorify the praise of their Lord. وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لِلَّذِينَ تَابُوا And they seek forgiveness for those who repent. They say, رَبَّنَا وَسِعْتَ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ رَحْمَةً وَعِلْمًا Our Lord, you have encompassed all things in knowledge and mercy. فَاغْفِرْ لِلَّذِينَ تَابُوا So forgive those who have repented. وَاتَّبَعُوا سَبِيلَكَ And have followed your way. وَقِهِمْ عَذَابَ الْجَحِيمِ And save them from hell. رَبَّنَا وَأَدْخِلْهُمْ جَنَّاتِ عَدِينٍ الَّتِي وَعَدْتَهُمْ Our Lord, allow them to enter the paradise of perpetual residence that you have promised them. وَمَنْ صَلَحَ مِنْ آبَائِهِمْ وَأَزْوَاجِهِمْ وَذُرِّيَاتِهِمْ And also those righteous people from their parents and their spouses and their children. إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ You are the most mighty, the most wise. وَقِهِمُ السَّيِّئَاتِ And our Lord, protect them from sins. وَمَنْ تَقِ السَّيِّئَاتِ يَوْمَ إِذٍ فَقَدْ رَحِمْتَهُ And any person you save, O oh Allah, from sins on the day of judgment, then you have shown mercy to them. وَذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ And that is the supreme success. So notice the dua of the angel is not just for your future, as you just heard. It's for your future and the future of your parents and your spouse and your children on condition that you make dua, that you make tawbah. In our era of materialism and scientism, a lot of us tend to not give a lot of importance to those things that our senses do not perceive. Things that we can't eat, feel, touch, taste, smell. And one of those imperceivable things that a lot of people overlook is the voices of angels. Yet unbeknown to a lot of us, those angelic voices have caused so much change in the lives of countless people without them realizing. So it is effective when they pray for you. And it has a tangible benefit on your life today and your grave tomorrow and your afterlife with Allah. Allah said, He is the one who sends His blessings upon you. And so do His angels. With what purpose? With what outcome? To take you out of darkness and into light. That's what the dua of the angels does.